Welcome back to the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon. Today we're going to be breaking down like shot for shot pretty much of the latest Scarlet and Violet trailer. We're going to hop on over to the trailer, going to be breaking it down with you real time. So it's going to be very, very fun. A little bit different of a video, so I am sorry if it's a little messy. It's my first time doing this, but I am really excited to do this. Uh, so yeah, we're going to hop over there. So you will not be seeing this face in a minute. So uh, take it in while you can. I'll see you guys at the end of this. Okay, so this just, I guess, is kind of neat. We get to see the back of Ogre Pond. Uh, kind of more emphasis on the little stem there. I really think it's going to be cute under that mask. I like a little, just a little uh, Sudachi friend. I also love how this is all Shar. We're going to get, like, cutscenes of, like, Ogre Pond just looming over... Uh, watching the town. That's really cool. I also love how this is shot like a like a movie, honestly. Phantom returning, uh, Cramorant returning, Clefairy returning. Uh, so I have two things interesting to point out here. So first off, just the expression on the trainer's face uh, and the way the camera's panning up. I don't know if they just like got a good shot and played around or if this is some kind of uh, cutscene because, you know, it shows that he's looking out at the ogre mountain so i don't know i just think that's interesting also looking at this area i mean it's it's pretty decently sized you know we're a good bit away from the mountain here and you see we're in like a little riverbed you can see uh i think that's maybe the apple orchard over there but it, it does look pretty expansive i'm really curious about what the size of uh these two dlcs will be Okay, so this actually, I got credit Lutu on Twitter for this. He pointed this out. Look how vibrant the grass is. Very different from Paldea, which is good because it's a different ecosystem from Paldea's, right? It shouldn't look like another area of Paldea. Uh, I only am now realizing the little core fish walking down here. Rice patties are absolutely beautiful. It looks like maybe there's some fog in this area, so that's that's kind of neat. Maybe Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe it's just like, yeah, I think it might just be coloring, but either way. Poliwhirl. That's all I have to say for that. Uh, but even this is really cool. Just the trainer interacting with the water, walking down to it. Uh, and, you know, he's looking down at it and stuff. Uh, very, very neat. I also love that Pokemon are going to be caught, like, right outside the town. You can find wild Pokemon. Uh, man, I'm so excited for this area. The area truly is just gorgeous. There, of course, is Diplin and a little photo spot for you to take pictures. That's kind of neat. Okay, so this is an interesting thing, and I'm going to show this multiple times throughout the uh, trailer. But you see Kieran here. Watch this trailer with the idea that Kieran is Ogre Pond. Now, I'll point out some other interesting stuff he says. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of plot speculation there. Also, note the little yellow belt things they've got going on here. I think it's just like to their bag, but note that because that's important for way later in the trailer. I can't look so good there. I, I tried to pause it, but I, I missed it. But, you know, he's like, friends, I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> you know, he's he's happy. Like, he has a friend. You know, he's very shy. He's an outcast, like Ogre Pond. If nothing else, these two are going to mirror each other in a lot of ways. Notice he's wearing the Ogre Pond mask. And then, seriously, he's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. I'm really curious what this is about. I feel like, but it could be bait, you know. I feel like this is him telling his sister, you know, you're spending all this time with the player character. Uh, so, you know, he's getting jealous, maybe. And then that music changes. He's right there listening in on the conversation. Oh, man. Also, uh... Well, I, this isn't the stand, but I'll show it later if they show the stand again. Uh, there's a Diplin stand. Like, it straight up had Diplin on it, which is just kind of funny because we've seen these stands and we didn't notice it. It's this one over here that my mouse is hovering. Or maybe it's this one. It's one of those two. It has Diplin on it. Uh, 
Those Pokemon look so good out of here. Notice he's battling you in front of that cave. Right at that spot. Now there's an ogre pond there where that cave is. Just interesting. Again, maybe this could all be bait, but I, I think it's interesting. Terra Mask Ogre Pond. Or Terra Stole Ogre Pond. I don't know. This is really interesting to me. Uh, it's not a huge difference, which makes me wonder if there will be an even further form, but I, I don't know. Okay, so this is nice. So you saw... Uh, Fuzzendipity there, I'm pretty sure, was using a fairy move, like Dazzling Gleam or something. So, fairy, poison, Fuzzendipity. Monkey Dory here is going to use a psychic move. So, psychic, poison, Monkey Dory. And fighting move, so uh, fighting, poison, Okie Dogie. So, that's what I'm guessing their typings are. Fairy, poison, fighting, poison, and psychic, poison. So, that's kind of interesting. Uh, let me know which one of these you guys are picking. Uh, assuming we only get one. We might be able to get all three. But if we're only picking one, I'm picking Pheasantipity. Really long climb, and I wonder if there's going to be wild Pokemon around here. Because that's a super long climb for there to be, like, nothing. <laughs> he bites the apple. That just seems symbolic. And then the mask dropping, and it looks like it's right there at those steps. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we're moving into Blueberry Academy, the Indigo Disc. Beldum looks so clean. Okay, so this guy, obviously, he's Drayden's ancestor. Or de not ancestor or descendant, but like grandson or something, right? Like, he's got the gold eyes like Drayden, white hair like Drayden. He's wearing dragon pants, and he's wearing a dark-type shirt, which to me is like a reference to High Dragon, Dark and Dragon. I love this. I, I love this. So this is interesting. It's like a point-of-view shot. I don't. Can you do that in the game? Like, do it from, like, a uh, first-person point of view? I don't know. So this is also interesting. So you see here there's an Alolan Sandshrew here. But we know that uh, Alolan Executor is in the more tropical looking area. So I had previously speculated on, you can watch that video even though it's kind of been busted now, uh, that each area would be a different uh, region, if you will. Like uh, it would have the climate of a different region. And so I had speculated the tropical one would be Alola, this one would be Galar. But this breaks that because here is an Alolan Sandshrew and what should be the Galar one, or at least is outside of the Alolan one. So that's kind of interesting. I also wonder, will it only be Alolan Executor, Alolan Sandshrews? Can I find Cantonian Executor, Cantonian Sandshrews? I don't know. That's just a thought. Just a thought. I didn't realize Wild Bastiodon. But there you go. So the fossils will probably be in the wild. I really think it almost seems like they're just doing away with fossils, guys. And they're just trying to integrate them into, like, normal Pokemon, which I'm not a big fan of. But, yeah. Lots of bridges in the back, too. This is going to be a pretty expansive area as well. Like, looking at just this little area, this one square, it looks very expansive. And, uh, you know, it's just one of four. So this is neat. This little mini game here. You see we're flying, which we can't normally do. Now it does specify this is a supplement they take that only works for this mini game, but it has this line about, "Oh, but maybe one day this full power will be unleashed," which is really really neat. It's both on the official site and in the narration they did like after the trailer. So, I think like after we beat the Indigo Disc plot, we're going to go uh, back here, and we are going to uh, be able to fly now with Corridon and Miradon.
Archalodon. Pretty cool. It's look at this. It's a bridge. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Like we actually unironically have a bridge Pokemon now, y'all. Let that sink in. And you know what's funny? I've talked about before how that's like a Unova reference, in my opinion. Uh, the bridges, because it's used by a Unova character, and Unova's known for its bridges. But the funny thing is, like, Unova got absolutely hated on because it had such... Not stupid, because I actually like them, but stupid concepts for Pokemon was the majority opinion. Like, a gear with Clink, an ice cream with Vanillite, just literal garbage with Trubbish and Garbodor. Uh, so it's funny that now it's like, it's just a bridge. <clears throat> okay, once again, pointing out this gold belt. This is like the champion trainer of uh, the little Blueberry League. This is Kieran. I 100% believe this is Kieran. I believe his Diplin's going to get a second evolution, and it's... Uh, it's going like it's going to evolve further than Diplin. He's going to use it here, but no, this is this is totally Kieran. You got the gold belt going on. It's either Kieran or it's it. Well, it's not Carmine because Carmine doesn't have a uh, um, a white suit like this, and you know it. It looks more like it's a male trainer if you catch my drift. I'm going to try to go back and get that scene. Okay, wow, first try. So little vines and like thorns and stuff coming out this is interesting because this isn't in its terra mass form so i don't know just interesting there's adamant's uh descendant which is cool i'm very shocked that such an important character like adamant uh, and apparently it's also eerie does i don't see it personally but you know that's what people are saying so adamant here does uh descendant um interesting that's like just a photo lady like it's not even someone like super important well, I mean, maybe she is. Maybe I could be wrong. Okay. I have not seen this shot of him. I've seen it where he elongates his neck and roars. And this shot is pretty good, I think. And I think this is an area zero as well. I think this is an expanded area of area zero. Or at least part of area zero. There's a lot of little small water pools like this. This is totally an area zero in my opinion. There he is again, so you can get a better shot. Oh, I just realized they're doing their cries there. Uh, Birdkeeper Toby has a great theory about how this is Zacian's wing and all that, so that's really cool. It'll be linked, like, in the top corner right now, but I love that theory. Uh, this is so interesting. I'm naming this thing Rapunzel. Interesting, so there was a shot with uh, Giacomo, I think is how you pronounce that. That's probably completely wrong. But it's interesting because, like, are they doing more with those characters? You know, that's, that's kind of neat to think about. Okay, so an interesting thing here, this little switch between the two uh, Tropagos. Uh, in case you miss it, official site confirmed, these Pokemon are both Tropagos. The little baby ghosts that we see, you know, right uh, here, that, well, I couldn't get it. But the baby one is normal form Tropagos, so that's true Tropagos. This is terrestrial form Tropagos, so just an interesting thing in case anybody missed that. Also, I got chills at this part. Literal chills. I still get chills the second it does that little, the singing. Oh, man. That's so good. Whew. That is so good. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this trailer. You know, rate it for me. You know, give it a 1 out of 10 if you think it was horrible. Give me a 10 out of 10 if you thought it was the best trailer you've ever seen in your life. Let me know that in the comments below as well. It's just things you picked up in the trailer. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all our future videos. And until next time, I'll see all of you later.